For those we have loved, for those we have lost, for those who were good at football, and for those who were not as good at football, we must avenge these flat, laid down sprites and boring voices. The aliens may have done damage to them for now, but I swear on this let's play, we will take them down in Inazuma 11 2 Firestorm. Let's go. Are you the doctor who had that incredibly Scottish voice that made me break out into laughter last time? Oh, I wish people would put their slippers away properly. Yes, in this episode, basically, we need to head to the football pitch to think about a plan for how exactly we're going to beat the aliens. But first of all, a character who bears no significance to the plot only appears in this one game, but they still gave her a sprite. Julia's childhood friend, Julie. Because, <laughs> you know, if you call Julia, then you go straight to find another person with the same name to make friends with. Now, there's actually a couple of items next to the hospital. Nothing important, but... Slight change since Inazuma 11 won. It used to be in the first game that if you pick up a treasure chest in a certain location, it would become over time replaced with a different treasure chest in a different chapter and the, the chests would just disappear when you're done with them. But here, when you've opened a treasure chest, it stays and there will never be another one to take its place. Right, so now we have arrived at the crushed and ruined Ryman football ground, which has already made my video layout inaccurate. Coach Human Governor, away! We know, Mark. It's okay. You weren't ready to face a team like Alias. No one is. I don't think there's a team out there that could stand up to them. So what are we going to do, Father? Well, pretty much nothing. It's over. Let's play ends. That, that heartfelt promise in the hospital meant nothing. No, we need to go traveling, as he says, to find a stellar team. My original plan was to use it to protect the world of football from the sinister machinations of Ray Dark. However, I have decided to give it to you. Use it on your journey to form the team that will save us from Alias Academy. Ooh, what could it be? What could it be? Journey, what do you mean? Behold! Moving. Huh? What's that? It is literally just a bus, Mark. It doesn't fly or anything. <coughs> but, yeah, it's the thing from the bottom right quadrant of my YouTube layout. We have met the Inazuma bus, and even now Mark is still doing a 360 degree spin in the air, jumping for joy about this bus. 
Hold on a minute, we're just a bunch of kids. Nice observation. Good point. The only grown-up on the team is Coach Hillman, but... I think you're a bit too old for driving, if you don't mind me saying. I shall take the wheel. Mr. Veteran, have you recovered? Yep. I'm a little achy, but I'm sure I can drive a bus while sounding like Scruffy from Futurama. Brilliant! Looks like we're ready to go, then. Uh, go where? Where are we going? Why aren't you all flipping out about this amazing bus? They even painted it blue for us. Aren't we biting off a little more than we can chew here? Only a academy of lights years ahead of anyone we've faced before. Even Royal Academy and Zeus. And Kirkwood, because you know, they came third in the last tourney. Oi, Raymond's never backed down. Isn't that how we got where we are today? You know, our school ground smashed to bits and we lost over 10 nil to a bunch of aliens. Oh, oh, Coach Hillman isn't coming with us. You'll be going on this journey by yourselves. Yep, so Coach Hillman in the last game, he only coached us for about three games, the last three in the game, and he's already retired. Basically, Hillman is going to stay behind with Ryman to research Alias. So, now we don't have a coach again. But, but, but if Coach Hillman isn't coming, who's going to be on the touchline for us? He's right. We could put together a good team. But without a coach... Huh? What? Governor? Huh? Is this really the best team in the country? Uh, huh? Hey? Who's she? Any ideas? Search me! <laughs> Who are you? I'll be taking over as coach of your team from today. I'm Lena Schiller. This woman, can she really be our coach? <gasps> she flung her hair through the wind. Oh, she's amazing. This is pretty much the best coach we could ever had with locks like that. Governor, can we really entrust these children with the future of the planet? I mean, they've already lost to Alias Academy once. What makes you think they'll do any better next time? Do you have to be quite so rude? Says Nelly Ryman. We're not gonna lose again, alright? Losing to them has only fired us up more for next time. Or at least, that's how I think anyway. How reassuring. But you're down a few players, aren't you? Um, yes. A few of our players are still in the hospital. Well then, there's not much point in setting off on the bus then, is there? For your first task, I think I'll have you find enough players to make up a team of eleven. Hmm, eleven in a football, eight of a team, one, two... Three players! We'll have to find three players to recruit, I suppose. Look at the state of our school, though! Where are we going to find three football players? Oh, don't glare at me like that! I didn't say anything! You're useless! First I have to tell you where to go, and now this? Do you need your hands holding through everything? So that was you. 
You rang me to tell us how to get into the Umbrella School Grounds. And I'm guessing it was you who rang my father to tell him about the next Alias Academy target as well, was it? Precisely. And now I'm telling you this. You need to go back to Umbrella Junior High. Back? <gasps> Backslash! The school grounds are a wreck, but none of the students were hurt in the attack. If you're looking for match-fit players who are nursing a grudge against Alias, that's the place to find them. You're right. I bet they're itching for revenge. Also, Bobby Shearer and Eric Eagle should be back from Kirkwood soon. Go and meet them at the station and see if they'll join you. You know about Bobby and Eric? Naturally. When I coach a team, I make sure I know everything about them. So basically this brings us into a reasonably important decision. We have three spaces on the team. Blooming bossy boos, who does she think she is? I mean, that hair flip was amazing to be fair. You go on ahead, Mark. I can't go off without saying goodbye to Julia and Julie. This will probably be the last time I see her for a while. Yeah, it's just a shame to have, le have to leave when she's only just woken up. I mean, I'm not legally binding you to come with us, but I think it's quite important, don't you? Yeah, he's coming. Right, Mark. Let's go and talk to Bobby and Eric and scout out Umbrella Junior High for players. But yeah, right, so this is important. Listen carefully if you're playing along or using this as a walkthrough for this specific part. You'd have to be looking for something very specific to be using a walkthrough already, but, you know. What kind of person is Coach Shiller, Father? I want to know everything about her if he's going to be taking over the team. I wasn't specifically saying listen to this. I'd be important that comes afterwards. You don't know much about her, but you're the head of the JHSFF. Can we really entrust the team to someone you not even know that much about? She'll be fine. You don't need to worry about her. But... You're the one I'm worried about, Nelly. You always try to deal with things on your own. You're going to burn yourself out at this rate. You have to learn to let go when things take a turn. Let your friends take care of you for a change. I can't do that. Making sure everyone is okay is part of my job. Who knows what Mark and the others would get up to if I left them to their own devices. Speaking of Mark, you two will be spending a lot of time together on this trip. Don't you go falling head over heels in love with him now, will you? Father! <laughs> I'm only joking, Nelly. Just take care, okay? I'll always worry about you. I can't help it. I know. Thanks, Father. Whoa, the Mark Nelly shipping. That's actually something I want to talk about in a little more detail in a future episode. Because it leads into the story of well, how I ended up getting the game for the first time. Let's quickly check the blog and talk to those three people and then I shall explain what is important to explain. Yeah, three plays to go. That was really worth it. Two sentences. What do you think? It's the new addition to the team. A bus. It's a method of transportation which we've incredibly overhyped. And in case we forgot, yes, Hillman isn't coming with us. But this girl is. So she better actually be a good coach and not just proficient in the art of hair growth and that's it but right we have to find three new players and there's five available to us first i'm gonna go to the station because this is where an item is so if i'm glossing over this area if you didn't see the first lp but this is a pretty familiar area if you've played the last two games oh item there sports drink. So, you may remember these two if you're familiar with the first game. It's Bobby and Eric. 
Mark, it's true, isn't it? Alias really did beat Ryman. Yeah, they did. Same at Kirkwood. When we got there, the whole place was... I see. Gah, if only we'd made it in time. But there's no guarantee we would've won, even if we got there earlier. Eric! There are aliens, Bobby. From space, I mean. Who are aliens? We don't know the first thing about them. Man, how could we let this happen to our friends? How could we let Ryman and Kirkwood down? Aliens are no aliens. We failed our friends. We'll join you, Mark. We have a score to settle with Alias Academy. We all do. It's great to have you on board. Mark, we'll be waiting here. Come pick us up when you're ready to get going. So, that's a cutscene. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess seeing as we're still in the early stages of the game, I have to do it. But yeah, so that's a cutscene meeting Bobby and Eric, right? Uh, Dragon Crash. But as I said, you can get five out the three of the five available players. Three of them are students from Umbrella Junior High, and two of them are Bobby and Eric, actual story-relevant players from the last game. So you'd think, well, Tails gonna pick the two who were actual characters in the last game. Actually, no. I'm not going to get Bobby or Eric. And I have my reasons for that. You see, whenever... Whenever anybody plays this game, it just makes sense to get Bobby and Eric. So everybody does. But in actual fact... Oh, oh the baseball pitch is gone. How horrendous. In actual fact, Bobby and Eric, you don't need them for the first half of the game. But you are actually required to get them at a certain point in the story. So if you decline them now, you will still be required to get them later. And not only that, but it will happen in a slightly exclusive way. Just a small cutscene in each case that you won't see if you get them now. So instead, I'm going to pick from these guys who otherwise you, you would just have to get through standard scouting means. You know, you can get them right at the start of the game or they just naturally won't be a part of this story anymore, but Bobby and Eric will become part of it later. So, I would like to get the Umbrella Junior High lads. There is a downside to doing it this way, because Bobby and Eric are both good players, and if you wait until later in the game to get them, they will be like level 5, so they won't be that useful, but I want to build a kind of original team with lots of random recruits anyway. So it seems like there's five members of Umbrella Junior High scattered around here actually. Maybe I got it wrong. There was the team captain's Edmund, who we were just talking to. I guess I still got to keep going because these are Umbrella exclusive random encounters. I'm sure the random encounters will start getting cut out soon enough. Oh, I'm so used to having more TP than this. I already can't do another dragon crash. He saved it. Yeah, I failed. I, I got a draw and that's not good enough. But um, there should be one player... Okay, no, they're just hiding as far away as they can. Maybe there are just three of them then? That's one there. And seeing as I'm getting a bit sick of the random encounters, I think I'm just gonna accept this guy. Cheers, Skipper. You won't regret this. So more field has joined us, and now we have a, a bit more field to play with. Isn't that wonderful? Cameron Moorefield, our first recruit. And uh, up here, are you a player? Yes, this is Mildford. Okay, so we do have a selection of five, because I can remember two other specific players. I think I'm going to decline Mildford. He doesn't look... No, it... Oh! Oh, when you put it like that... All right, let the data gathering commence. Fine, I don't think Mildford was exactly the best 
choice I could pick, but if he wants to gather data on the aliens, I guess there's scientific benefit. So, uh, is that a treasure chest? No. So I've got to pick one more, so I've got to choose between Edmunds, the actual team captain, and uh, Cheney. I don't think I've ever accepted Cheney, actually. Hmm. That would be different for me. I'm going to find the final option for the sakes of showing it. Well, items beside him. This player over here is Cyborg. Again, not particularly good of a player, but I like the look of him. He's, he's part fly, part robot, part human. But I've had him on my Inazuma 11-2 team every time I've played the game, so... I, I was planning to have Edmunds, the actual team captain, on the team. But Milford just won me round. So I think... Oh! I think I'm going to go with the one player of this starting seven options that I've never actually used before. Cheney, you're on. Let's hit the pitch and practice. Yeah, your personality is kind of the weakest of the seven. But of course, Bobby and Eric will be on later, so I, I, as far as I'm aware, I'll probably be the first person on YouTube to show off the exclusive Bobby and Eric join the team later on cutscene. But for now, we've got our members of Umbrella. Listen up, everyone. We're about to start out on a long and difficult journey. I want you all to go and say goodbye to your families. G goodbye you make it sound like we'll never see them again. Don't say things like that. Never fear. We'll beat Alias Academy and be back to celebrate with our loved ones before you know it. But we can't just leave without saying anything. I'd never hear the end of it from me, Mum. You're right. We shouldn't worry our parents. Very interesting of Mark to actually be responsible like that, but he has actually thought to do it and yeah Todd brings up an interesting point what if the parents try to stop us from going on this journey I guess if this journey's government funded then we're probably legally bound to go on it we are the best footballing team but categorized by school at junior level so we're clearly the best match to do this. Oh, you're back! Hello, Mark! I've just finished packing your things for you! I know how much of a mud magnet you are, so I've packed plenty of changes of clothes for you! Wait a minute, how did you know I was going on a trip? Give me some credit, Mark! I am your mother, you know! When those aliens appeared, we knew you wouldn't be able to sit around doing nothing about it. So we're just going to let you go out there and get killed. And then we'll finally be able to hear the last of this shoddy football business. No way! Thanks, Mom! Thanks, Dad! Right, I'm off then! Bye! That were a fast goodbye. Can I at least have some food before I go? Oh, and bye, Granddad! We're gonna protect football. Goodbye! Everyone. Losing never even crosses his mind, does it? I knew he'd head off like this someday, but I didn't think it would happen so suddenly. My dad did his fair share of travelling around the country playing football himself. Mark really is just like him. Please, Dad. Help him in whatever way you can. Mark! Hi guys, did you all say goodbye to your families? Uh, yeah. I was expecting them to be worried, but not a bit of it. All I got was a pat on the back on my way out of the door. Hey you lot, be sure to teach those aliens a lesson, won't you? No stupid alien is gonna get in my bro's way. He's Raymond Jr. has star player. Uh, yeah. Don't worry. Leave it to me, Zack. 
God, Jack, yeah, all the way, man. <laughs> all right, Mark, let's get back to Ryman. Axel is probably back from the hospital by now. Okay, then, let's meet up with Axel and get this show on the road. Just you wait, Alias Academy. You started this, but we're gonna finish it. Just like this episode. Goodbye. Next time, we're going back to Ryman, get Axel, and then we're gonna set off on the road. It's gonna be pretty hype. Who knows where we'll go? It'll be somewhere in Japan on the search for the best players. I hope you get into it. See you later.